Airports on alert across America for Ebola and one South Florida company hopes to be part of the screening process. Seven's Blake Berman has the details. It's a rather simple design. One screen, a main button, just point and click. Release, you hear the double beep, and you get a perfect one. But its high-tech processor essentially breaks down the math of your skin. Without a doubt, all the time, every time, I use it on my children. Without a doubt. It's called the caregiver. Keith Houlihan of Miami has spent the last six years co-inventing and then pushing his non-touch infrared thermometer to hospitals and healthcare centers. Now he feels there's a new market. Starting this weekend with New York's JFK Airport and then expanding to four other major airports, passengers who arrive from the Ebola-ravaged countries of Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone will undergo non-touch thermometer screenings upon entering the United States. Houlihan says as his distributor just sold 80 of the devices to the CDC as part of its soon to be implemented precautionary measures. We gave it a try. 98.6. Correct. I'm 98.1. What are you, Luis, my photographer? He's 97.5. So sure. I guess it just, in these, this kind of a setting at the airport, It'll reset. people come off. So exactly, if, you, if you're coming in and you have patients coming off or in the airport for that, the passengers are coming through, the uh, Homeland Security personnel, or TSA, they could go right down the line and scan each person that's going, that, that's in line. Houlihan says he's also sold 20 of the units to a company in West Africa. This device is a perfect solution for it because you can take the temperature of the patient without actually touching them in any manner whatsoever. A forehead scanner that he says makes a whole lot of sense. In Miami, Blake Berman, 7 News. Well, our coverage of Ebola in America continues at 6.30. Stay with us for any breaking developments on air here on 7 and online at WSVN.